Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25S2 because the update is stuck on installing, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website. You can search in Google Windows 11 assist, uh, installation assistant and then you can click on the Microsoft website. On this page here, you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now you can try to update it from here. If you see update now option or install option. Now still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So go to windows settings, go to windows update and then click on pause. If you see retry option, you can hit retry and then check if that does not work. Pause and then once paused, resume the updates and then you can check. Still not working then run these command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now the scan will take some time and once the scan is 100 percent complete run the second scan so copy the second command paste it over here, hit the enter key. Once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command on the same window, paste the third command. And then once the third command is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can try to update. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. So type in services in window search box and then click on services. Now find windows update, make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click on windows update then click on restart and then you can check now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click and then click on restart now find app readiness service over here once this is done find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a right click and then click on restart now you can try to update and then check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update option so open windows settings go to windows update or uh, go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here go to recovery option and here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done try to update your windows to version 25h2 and then check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file when you run this exe file, you will see the screen, click on accept over here and then by default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next, select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop, save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time and once the download is complete, click on finish option over here, hit finish and then let this close automatically. It will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close. Once close, go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next and then accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then try to update your windows 11 and one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows to version 25h2 so so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel